Hello, this is Daniel, owner of ManyBidets.com. I want to take a moment and talk about the BioBidet Bliss BB2000 remote control. This remote control is very feature heavy, but the icons on the remote aren't necessarily super intuitive. So I'd like to take a moment and talk about each of the options on the remote so that you have a feel for what they are. The first button, which looks like a square on the remote, is the stop button. That one's pretty self-explanatory. The next button over uh, looks like a cute little W. That's actually supposed to be a butt. Uh, and water shooting up at the butt, that's your rear wash. So guys and gals, we both use the rear wash. That's when we've done number two and we need to clean up after. This, uh, this other icon next to it, that's supposed to be a, a lady in a skirt or a dress with water coming up, indicating the front wash or the feminine wash. So we have stop, rear wash, front wash, and then this last button over here, this is going to be your dryer. So this icon is designed to look like a fan, fan for blowing air, drying. The next button here, again, a W or two butt cheeks, and a single stream up, that's your enema wash. Uh, the enema wash on the BB2000 is a thin pointed stream with a spin on it. And so that's, that's the enema wash button on the far um, side of the remote right under the stop button. Next we have arrows going left and right and uh, what looks like a little battery under it. Uh, that little battery looking logo is supposed to be the nozzle and pressing this button will oscillate the nozzle back and forth. Uh, it's important to note that oscillates the, the nozzle front to back and back to front, not side to side. Uh, so that's important to note. Auto does a wash followed by a dry. Um, the dry cycle may not be quite long enough, so you may need to run the dry cycle a second time, just a, a, a warning, um, but that auto button runs a, a wash followed by a dry. And then over here on the, uh, the far side of the remote, what looks like a screen with lines coming out of it, that's your deodorizer button. So you're uh, turning the deodorizer on means that when you sit down on the seat, the seat pulls um, any of the air from inside the bowl through the deodorizer. When you turn it off, the deodorizer doesn't kick on when you sit down. You've got your plus and minus buttons here. This controls the water pressure. So minus and plus, plus and minus. Between those buttons, you have some squiggly lines with a little thermometer on it. That's going to set the water temperature. So you're gonna press that, the water temperature is gonna go up. So low, press it again, medium, press it again, high. And then the third time or the fourth time that you press it, it's going to turn off. And then of course, start over when you press that button again. It's also important to note on the screen, you have three bars next to the thermometer sign. So it's going to go one, two, three, and then none of the bars are going to show. That's gonna tell you what temperature it's set at. Uh, it's also important to note up here we have logos or icons for the other options that we talked about. Uh, the first one in the upper uh, left as you're looking at it is the uh, rear wash. And then next to that, they actually use a different um, symbol on the icons on the remote for the feminine wash. Uh, it's supposed to be the curvy side of a lady. Um, on, on the second option, that's the feminine wash. And then you have lines for um, your deodorizer, enema wash, and then of course the drying cycle. Uh, the next row down on our remote, we have the arrows. This, this shows the position of the uh, nozzle, so you're able to adjust the nozzle front to back. Important thing to note if you're following along with this in the manual, the manual icons or the icons in the manual look like they're pointing left to right. These buttons are pointing up and down. We get a lot of people asking about that. They're the same buttons. So don't let that throw you for a loop if you're looking at the manual. This just adjusts the position of the nozzle. In the middle here we can see what I often get people refer to as a big thumb. 
uh, with an F in the middle of it. That is not a thumb. That is supposed to be the toilet seat. And if you tap on that, that is going to, similar to the water temperature, start low, then jump to medium, then jump to high and back to off and cycle through those. The options down here at the bottom are very infrequently used. Uh, the first option is for your timer, uh, for your clock, I should say. If you press that and then press this first button next to it, that's going to adjust your hours. The button next to that adjusts your minutes. So, so clock, hours, time, uh, minutes, time. So you can set those three there. And then last is your eco mode. The eco mode, and that's a little, um, a little plug with the word save on it. Uh, and that eco mode turns down the water, uh, the water temperature and the seat temperature. We're not in use to help save electricity. These don't use that much, that much electricity in the first place. So not really something we see people use, but it is here on the remote. Um, the one thing that this remote misses that, um, that a lot of people wish it would have is that it doesn't have a backlight. So uh, the buttons are raised and you can kind of feel the seams between the buttons. So at night you can kind of feel which buttons you need to press and you kind of get a feel for um, what buttons you need to press as you use it more. But it isn't backlit. So at night, uh, unless you can see it from the light of the... Um, of the nightlight, you're probably going to be operating this remote by feel. Uh, so that's just a, a little bit of a heads up so that you're aware of that. Hopefully you found today's video on the BioBidet Bliss BB2000 remote control helpful. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do videos like this all the time so you can learn about other bidet seats. You can learn more about the bidet seat that you already have. Troubleshooting tips, installation tips, care and maintenance tips, all of that and more just by subscribing to our channel. So don't forget to do that. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for choosing many bidets and have a fantastic day.